the family, he's looking for these idols. He wants them back. He wants them back. So they probably what happened to them ultimately? Well, they probably ended up in the trash heap where they belong, just like all the other idols. How much of our lives today, my dear friend, are cluttered because we let ourselves get attached to similar things? We let ourselves become enamored with adoration and affection for similar things. And we easily fall in love with idols that are going to do nothing more than to weigh us down on the journey through this life. And ultimately what's going to happen is they're going to end up moth-eaten. They're going to end up rusted. They're going to end up decayed. They're going to end up stolen. They're going to end up in a land field somewhere. The domestic idols of our day that we place value on these earthly things, what is it? It could be phones, cars, money, clothes, shoes, jewelry, electronics, any number of different things, my dear friend. Why do we invest so much significance and place so much value on these things that will not last? Well, the answer is, just like Rachel, so often we believe that they're going to be able to do something for us. It's our self-salvation strategy. Because after all, there are idols. We choose them. We carry them through this life. We bow down to them. We, we believe that we can't possibly live without them. We think that somehow they're going to make our lives better. They're going to make our lives more significant. They're going to make our lives run more smoothly. Yet one day, whether it's willingly or unwillingly, we will lay these things down. We will lay them aside. And on that day, my dear friend, the only treasure that's going to matter